PK in the universe back again with another video. Should I have called myself PSPK in the universe? Was that a missed opportunity? No, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, here to talk about today, my PSP collection. Here's my original PSP. I've had this PSP since 2009, 2010, something like that. I originally bought it at the BX when I was stationed at Misawa Air Base many, many years ago. And this is a very well-worn, well-loved PSP. I'd love to tell you that it's 100% original, but unfortunately, the battery did stop working. It didn't have the same problem a lot of people have had with the battery, you know, bulging out and exploding. Didn't have anything like that happen, but the battery just stopped holding a charge altogether. So that was unfortunate. So I had to get some, you know, cheap third-party aftermarket battery, but you know, it's working fine. I have not had any issues with it whatsoever. Also, the battery um, cover actually broke, which was really unfortunate because this one that I got for it, this replacement one, it's trash, honestly. It's just poorly made. It doesn't fit quite right. It's just something a little off. Now, it fits better than the one that's broken, obviously, but if I were ever to come across a PSP that didn't work in the wild, I would definitely grab that and, you know, just get that battery case cover replacement because this thing isn't very good. I know it looks okay from, you know, on camera, but honestly, it's just, I don't know what it is. I can't explain it, but it just doesn't fit like quite right. It's just like a little off, but it stays on. And that's the most important thing because the other one just kept falling off like crazy. So now the only noteworthy accessory I have with my PSP collection is I have actual component cables. That's right, official PlayStation component cables for my PSP. So what's nice is, you know, I can just hook that up and I can play that on a TV. So that's pretty cool if I wanted to do that. Do I do that? Not really, because a lot of games just look, eh, you know, when they're like blown up on a TV. It looked pretty decent on a CRT sometimes though, for sure. But I mainly play this to play games on the go. That's why I bought a PSP to begin with. Now the first game I ever got with this, which I don't actually own anymore because I lost it unfortunately, was Assassin's Creed Bloodlines. Actually, that was the first game I ever got for this. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate I lost that. Eventually I will maybe get that game back in my collection at some point if I see it for a great price. In the meantime, what's kind of cool is you can actually play Assassin's Creed Bloodlines on the PS Classic. Now I've never played this very far into it, but I was surprised it worked at all, honestly, you know, so. That's kind of neat. Maybe I'll try it out this way or I'll get the game on PSP at some point. That's one thing that's really cool about the PlayStation Classic is it can play PSP games, but it's really hit or miss. It's really all over the place. Some games are way too powerful to play on this, you know, but uh, still very nice nonetheless. Of course, you have to have your it hacked, which is like super easy. So anyways, let's go over the games I have. I got Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast. This is the only way I actually have 2006 Coast to Coast. Don't have it on PS2, don't have it on Xbox, but I have this version for some reason. I don't know, and then it comes with a manual, came with a manual, so that's great. I wanna say I bought this like at a thrift store or something, I just found it randomly. Had no idea really what Outrun was at the time. Had no idea I'd become a huge Outrun fan either, so. Um, but yeah, this game's a lot of fun. I remember I had some issues playing it, like it was skipping or something at one point. But again, I haven't gone back to playing it since, you know, because there's different versions of the game I've been playing. I've been playing the Sega Genesis version a lot lately. And um, so, yeah, eventually I would need to come back and play this. So up next, we got Ridge Racer. Have not played this game in a long time. I remember there was some like drifting and you could do like you know, nitrous boosts and stuff like that. It looks really, really good for a PSP game. I remember that much about it, but maybe I'm, maybe that's nostalgia. I don't know, but uh, yeah, Ridge Racer. Up next, I got the Capcom Remix and Reloaded collections. This one I originally had in my collection. I think I bought it at like GameStop a long time ago. And then later on, I ordered this one online. I think I got it on like eBay or something. And the reason I got this other game was because the Evercade EXP was announced and it was gonna have 18 Capcom games on it. So I thought it'd be great to do like a compare and contrast and be like, I was like, you know, this is kind of like an alternative sort of if you don't have an Evercade EXP that, hey, you can play these games already if you already have a PSP. So. You know, I thought it would be cool to, you know, talk about these games. So that was really good that I got this. And uh, yeah, every once in a while I come back to it and it's got some really uh, 
great great collections of games here. The only downside is the loading times is a total pain in the butt. But other than that, uh, yeah, I would recommend these highly for sure. Up next is Atari Classics Evolved. This game is fantastic because not only does it have some of the original like Atari 2600 games, but it actually has newer updated versions of them. Um, and I love games that are like basically redone and retooled, you know, to like look more modern. That's what's really great about modern Atari now is they have the Recharge series and we're seeing, you know, more modern versions of games, you know, re-brought up, you know, and refreshed. So I feel like this is kind of a precursor to that sort of thing. You know, the Atari games, you know, evolved in a more, you know, 3D looking experience, you know, and more modern. So yeah, can't recommend this game enough. So. Up next, we got Kingdom of Paradise. This is an action RPG. Have not played too much of this. It was kind of an impulse buy. I got it at uh, Half Price Books, I want to say. It was like dirt cheap. I'm like, uh, yeah, this looks pretty cool. It looks pretty promising. So it's one of those games I need to explore much further and go check out. So up next, we got Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. This isn't the original cover art, but this is my original copy of the game. I lost the case somewhere. I have no idea, but uh, yeah, obviously it's, you know, just by itself. I have no idea what I did with the original case, but uh, this was another game I got when it was brand new and came out. And I was really excited for it. Dim never... I never got too far in it. Really didn't like the gameplay style. You know, I was a big fan of MGS 2 and 3 and 4. But this just never did it for me. I don't know. I just could never get very far in it and had a hard time with this one. Up next, we got Castlevania. This was something I got at GameStop. So this isn't the original cover art, but it's cover art I printed off. As you can see, it's just, you know, by itself. This is probably like the European cover art or like, I think I got this from like the coverproject.com, the actual cover art. But uh, yeah, I got this originally at GameStop. What's cool about this is it has um, the... Um, uh, was it uh, Symphony of the Night? And it also has Rondo of Blood on it, I want to say. Yeah. So you can unlock those PS1 games. So that's pretty darn cool. And for the final physical PSP game, I have Final Fantasy 20th Anniversary. This is the original Final Fantasy redone. This was before, you know, Pixel Remasters, which is the new hot thing right now, or it's been the hot thing over the last couple of years. The first six Final Fantasy games have been Pixel Remastered. This is a very different version of the game. What's also kind of neat too is there's some bonus content or whatever. I think there's like four additional dungeons or something like that. Yeah, I haven't invested too much time in this one. It's hard for me sometimes to start an RPG. You know, when you're an adult with a busy life, it's really challenging to start an RPG sometimes. But I've heard this is pretty short. And there's a lot of grinding though. So those are my physical PSP games. I do have some digital games and some PS1 games. Too, but uh, here's the games. I have uh, Legend of Mana. Herc's Adventure, Final Fantasy IV, Rayman, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops, and uh, Midway Arcade Treasures Extended Play. So there you have it, folks. That's my uh, PSP collection. I hope you enjoyed watching this cringy old man talk about his old PSP games, you know, from back in the day of yesteryear. This system is very versatile and it's awesome and there's some great games in there. I used to have more games, but after a while you got to kind of pare things down, you know. I mean, get rid of things you know you're never going to play. Yeah, I mean, if you got games in your collection, you know you're never going to play them. Sometimes it's good to just get rid of games, so. But uh anyways, what are your guys' thoughts? What's your favorite PSP game? Comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and stay awesome in this universe. Thanks. Bye.